Welcome to the channel. My name is Julian and I work at Blogwall, which helps over a billion sites with 100% reliable backups. In this video, I'll help you choose the right backup plugin by comparing the top three backup plugins in the market. All right, let's begin. Now, some of you may wonder if I'm being biased when comparing Blogwall with Backup Buddy or Updraft Plus, since the name of this channel is Blogwall. So, I'm only going to talk in terms of facts that you can easily cross-check by trying out each plugin. If you're short on time, here's a table highlighting the main pros, cons, and prices of each plugin. If you want to understand better which plugin is the right fit for you and why, please watch the next section and we'll give you a quick summary of each plugin with a conclusion at the end. Number one, Blogwalt. We tested Blogwalt on small, medium, and large WordPress sites, and we found that it worked just as effortlessly on all three of them. The website sync took less than two minutes, even for a large website of around 10 GB. One of the most important features of Blogwalt is that it offers off-site storage for your backups for 90 days, with the backup archive extendable for up to 365 days for WooCommerce websites. Additionally, a year's worth of backups can take up a significant amount of space, and if you choose to store it on the cloud or any other storage, you may incur additional costs. Blogwalt stores all of your backups on its off-site servers at no additional cost. When you backup your WordPress website frequently, it can cause performance issues. Blogwall does not affect your website performance as it does incremental backups of your website after the first one. Our conclusion was that Blogwall is the most versatile backup plugin. It works for all types of websites and needs. You can try Blogwall for free as they offer a free 7 day trial and I'll add a link in the description below. Number 2. Backup Buddy You can schedule automatic backups of the plugin which can be as frequent as hourly. While this is good for a regular website, it is not enough for a WooCommerce site that requires real time backups. When we tested the plugin, the backups were stored without any issues. However, when trying to restore the backups, the large site backup failed. A failed restore can cause downtime and a lot of anxiety, which can result in a lot of losses. Besides this, Backup Buddy stores your backups on the site server by default. This can overload your WordPress website and slow it down. You can change the settings and store your backups on the cloud or its own storage service, which is free up to 1 GB. However, as large site backups go way beyond 1 GB, this is not nearly enough and the cost of storage could quickly start piling up. Backup Buddy plans start at $80 per year. This does not include additional storage costs. Our conclusion is that Backup Buddy's free WordPress backup version is sufficient for small WordPress site without too many updates or changes. I'll add a link to the site below in case you're interested to check them out. Number three, Updraft Plus. You can link your Updraft Plus account to cloud services such as Amazon S3, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Additionally, they also offer a paid WordPress backup storage service called Updraft Plus Vault. However, the storage cost can ramp up very fast for medium and large sites. When backing up, WordPress allows you to take partial backups by splitting the website backup into five parts, database, plugins, themes, uploads, and others. This allows you to pick a few or all of the parts in order to create a partial or complete backup. When we tried backing up a large WordPress site, Updraft Plus gave us a warning that said, you're about to back up a large site. This did not stop the backup process, but also did not instill much confidence. At the time of restoring our sites, Updraft Plus gave failure warnings and directions for the medium sites, but completely failed to restore the large WordPress site. Our conclusion is that the plugin is good for small WordPress sites, but not suitable for large sites. I'll add a link to the site below in case you're interested. So, our overall conclusion is this. Our testing has clearly showed us that Blogworld is the recommended plugin for most users due to five main reasons. Number one, automatic backups, real-time backups, and on-demand backups. Blogwall basically lets you take any type of backup that you may need. You can set up a time for a backup and forget about it till the time you need to restore. This frequency can be set to every five minutes as well, so you always have real-time backups to restore from. There's also an option for unlimited on-demand backups, so you can click a button and take a backup in case you're about to make any changes on your site. Number two, 100% restore success. Blogwall backups restore 100% every single time. There's also a 24-7 customer support to help you with any issues. Number three, unlimited yearly storage. Storage costs on local drives and cloud services can add up quickly for large sites, but you never have to worry about that with Blogwall because you get unlimited storage. While most plugins and web hosts store backups for up to a month at most, Blogwall gives you access to a year's worth of backups on your website, so you can restore any part of your website from any point in the last year easily. Number four, off-site encrypted backups. All your site backups are stored off your website server. So if anything goes wrong with your web host or website server, your site can be restored instantly 
on a different server from a blog wall backup. Number five, integrated staging. Test all your updates on a staging site before making changes to your live site. Once testing is complete, merge those changes quickly without having to repeat the process. Finally, one super important thing that you should know is how to quickly detect and clean malware from your site. Check out the video linked above to successfully deal with any type of malware. That's all for today. If you have any questions at all, please comment below and I'll help you out. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.